Hey everyone, Gaffy Man here, and today I have a video that all of you have been waiting for, you've been wanting it, you've been longing for it all year long, and that is the top 20 of 2022. That means this is a list of new energy drinks just released this year in 2022. So if you've watched my personal top 10 and top 20 list before, those were usually based on all energy drinks. This one is just the drinks released this year coming right up. Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And if you like this video, feel free to share it with anyone else you think might be interested in it. And if you're looking for any of the drinks on this list, be sure to check out Campus Protein and save 10% off with coupon code CAFFEEMAN10. And in today's video, we're going over the top 20 of 2022. That's right. A lot of drinks released in 2022, but a lot of you want to know what the top 20 are. And although this is my personal list, I hope a lot of you agree with me and there are going to be no restrictions on this one. What's that mean? That means in a lot of my personal lists, I usually don't drink 300 milligram energy drinks, so they're usually not on the list. I usually don't drink drinks with sugar in them either, so those usually aren't on the list. But this one is based on some of my favorite flavors of the whole year. No holds barred. There's going to be 300 milligram drinks on here and sugar drinks. I know you're excited by that, so let's jump in to the first flavor. Coming in at number 20 is one of the healthiest drinks on the list. Now, not that many of them are unhealthy, besides the sugary ones, but some companies do go above and beyond to give you an even healthier energy drink, not having any questionable ingredients in it at all, just giving you some good ingredients. And that company is Marquee with their lychee flavor. And the reason this is coming in at number 20 is because it is one of the healthiest ones and it's one of the only healthy energy drinks that I enjoyed so much that I felt it really needed to be on the list. Most of your healthier energy drinks do have a tendency to taste kind of healthy, but this one has a really good flavor. And when you drink it, you can feel good that you're actually putting good ingredients into your body as well as 100 milligrams of a natural tri-blend caffeine. Yeah, tri-blend, getting fancy in this 12 ounce can. Coming in at number 19 was a huge surprise to, 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 to me, uh, I can still surprise myself sometimes, because it's actually a Celsius product. When it comes to Celsius, I'm usually not a huge fan of their drinks. I have like several, but they have a tendency to go a little bit more natural with their flavors. But when it came to their Celsius Heat Mango Tango, man, they did an amazing job with that. I was so surprised with when I drank that because I wasn't expecting such a great drink. And you guys know, or some of you know, that I am a big fan of mango-y tropical kind of flavors. And they did a great job with it and it is actually the first of several 300 milligram energy drinks on the list so if you're into thermogenics and your mangoey kind of flavors consider picking up the celsius heat mango tango and number 18 might be a surprise to some of you guys if you know what my flavor preferences are but this drink was so amazing that there's no way it couldn't make the list oh i didn't show you the last can uh, i'm so bad it is the can for the celsius heat mango tango i don't think there's any way i can re-record all that sorry for the interruption I just get so wrapped up and so excited to be telling you about these drinks. <laughs> this next one, I have the can right here, is the Hyde Lemon Voltage Lime. This drink is one of the strongest lemon lime flavors I have ever had. And whenever I drink it, it really does make you pucker. There's no doubt about it. It is sweet, it is sour, and it is the most potent lemon lime flavor that I have had. And with that 300 milligrams of caffeine in here, tri-source caffeine that is, picking up a thing or two from Marquee, it's not only going to give you a powerful lemon lime flavor, it's going to give you a powerful amount of caffeine as well. If you like grape flavors, they also have a really potent grape. Yes, we, we did just lose power. Yes, that, that was that was not planned. That was a, a, we have a monsoon going on today. So it's, uh, it's a bit windy. Got some tree branches down. So let's quickly jump into number 17. Let's, let's jump into 17. I don't, is it? And my motto doesn't work anymore. Coming in at number 17 is yet another 300 milligram energy drink. And this one is the Raise Prickly Pear. And even though its name is pear, don't let it fool you because it's a little bit tricky since it's much closer to a watermelon flavor. In a world where the year 2020 was flooded with a whole bunch of watermelon flavors, this Raise Prickly Pear, which looks something like this, was a refreshing change from the norm. Coming in at number 16 is a company that only released a couple of new drinks, but with what they lacked in quantity, they definitely made up for with quality. And that is the 3D Galaxy Lime. 
This was such a unique flavor, since it's a blue raz and lime energy drink, you couldn't help but like it just for its uniqueness, as well as the blue raz flavor mixing so well with that lime. They just did a great job with it. Nothing else like it on the market. And with 200 milligrams in this 16 ounce can, it's coming in number 16. Number 15 is a brand new company to the market for energy drinks at least. They have been on the market for a while with their brand Pro Supps. They've really been making a name for themselves the last few years. And then they decided to jump in on the energy drink game as well with their energy drink called Rise. My favorite flavor of the bunch was the Rise Ring Pop, which really did taste like a liquid version of Ring Pop. It's like they grabbed a bunch of Ring Pops, melted them down, put it in the can. It's just a really great candy flavor. It also has 200 milligrams of natural caffeine and they have a lot of great options. Kool-Aid was also a runner up. Coming in at number 14 is also new to the energy drink game, as well as being created by a supplement company. And that energy drink is Red Cod One. Barely making it into the top 20 of 2022, timing wise, I just reviewed this drink last week and that drink is the Cali Splash. Out of all the drinks that they released, this one was my favorite. And if you want to know what a Cali Splash actually is, it is an even mix of pineapple and orange with some apple also mixed in there, as well as 200 milligrams of natural caffeine. Great job to Redcon One with all the flavors that they released this year. Number 14 is the last one I reviewed. Number 13 is another 300 milligram energy drink from a company that releases a ton, a ton, a ton of energy drinks. And when they release so many energy drinks, it's hard not to have a few great ones. Ones. This one was an extremely unique flavor based on the pomelo fruit, which had an amazing flavor to it. Really gave it that exotic feel. And the name of the drink is G Fuel Nurato Sage Mode. Naruto, Nurato, Potato, Potato. It's Sage Mode and it's a great drink. Coming in at number 13. At number 12, we have our first monster on the list, <laughs> implying that there may be more than one, but, but I just like to imply things. It's probably not anymore. And it is also the very first sugar drink on the top 20 of 2022 list. And it's probably that sugar that gives it its good flavor. And that flavor is the Monster Reserve White Pineapple. Monster Reserve is a new line of energy drinks from the Monster Company. And the big thing that they're going for is that it has half the amount of sugar as their regular monster energy drinks and this line can actually have a bunch of different flavors in it so far they haven't had a dedicated line just to flavors so they're doing what they did similar to their ultra line which has a lot of great sugar free flavors now they're gonna have a bunch of great flavors for those of you who do like sugar and being only half the sugar it makes it a little bit of a less guilty option but don't worry they're still sweet drinks because they also use sucralose and this white pineapple I've actually had a couple of times since the time that I reviewed it. Coming in at number 11 is a really great company with a lot of great drinks and that company is bucked up and the flavor at number 11 is Miami. This is also another 300 milligram energy drink but they do actually have some low stim drinks and I'm really really crossing my fingers that they make this into low stim because this is a delicious pineapple mango strawberry flavor and if they make this into low stim i'm not sure what i'm gonna do because they got a lot of great flavors we are now breaking into the top 10 and if you like this video please consider subscribing to my channel where i go over everyday energy for everyday people it is primarily energy drink reviews but i also do the occasional caffeinated product and caffeine safety video you can also follow me on all my social media at instagram twitter facebook all at caffeine man one and the website it not yet it's coming the, the new year that's, that's that's like tomorrow all right coming at number 10 if this wasn't in the top 10 my wife would probably kill me because it is her number one energy drink and it really is a great energy drink it is really a great flavor that drink and flavor is the ghost warheads sour apple Ghost really does know how to make great sour drinks. Their Sour Patch Kids went over really, really well. And this Sour Apple has to be one of the most sour energy drinks that I've had, as well as the most powerful apple flavor that I've had, thus the name Sour Apple. It is just an extremely strong, extremely powerful, and a very potent sour apple flavor with 200 milligrams of natural caffeine. Coming in at number nine, we have another sugar energy drink, which can only mean it's a monster. Yeah, it does 
doesn't only mean that there are several other options for your sugar options but but it is actually monster and that flavor is the monster nitro peach cosmic peach this one is also just barely making the cut for being released in 2022 i actually had this drink sent to me early for an early review and i'm fairly confident that it is supposed to be released before january 2023 if not asterisk on this whole video but because it is a nitro flavor it really gives it a nice smooth fizzy feel to it the 50 grams of sugar makes it a nice sweet peach flavor and that peach is also a very strong peach flavor making it a great combination coming in at number nine with 160 milligrams of caffeine in the 16 ounce can next up at number eight we have an orange creamsicle type flavor and even though we give credit to rain for being the originator of this extremely unique extremely popular energy drink other companies have looked at that and been trying to improve upon it and trying to make their orange creamsicle the best out there and someone that's given them a run for their money is the Alani New Dream Float. They did a really great job with this flavor. If you like orange creamsicle, you have to try the Dream Float. And with 200 milligrams in a 12 ounce can, it will be putting a little bit of pep in your step. Recommend you trying it out. Now guys, the number seven drink, and girls, is actually a flavor that is beating out the Alani New Dream Float. And in some people's opinion, it is actually beating out its sister company, Rain, Orange Dreamsicle. And that company is Monster Reserve Orange Dreamsicle. Same exact name, same company really but because it is part of the reserve line they add sugar to this one give it a very 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 unfair advantage but making it a very 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 great drink for orange creamsicle flavors so if you don't mind having a little bit of sugar 28 grams to be exact right there then I highly recommend you picking up this one and if you want to know what it tastes like I have done a review on all the drinks obviously but uh it is probably one of the strongest orange flavors and strongest cream flavors and one of the sweeter ones because it uses sugar and sucralose it is just a really great flavor monster reserve orange dreamsicle coming in number seven and geez that's that's three monsters on three monsters on the list there's no more on this list right this is a caffeine man top 20 there there can't be that many monsters on the list 160 milligrams in a 60 ounce can now number six is a little bit controversial and that's because it is the bucked up low stem mango tango and why is it controversial? Well, because this drink actually came out, it was released technically in 2021, but the problem is nobody could find this drink anywhere. It didn't get into many stores at all, at least not in the New England area. And even trying to find it online, it could only find it on their website. So I wasn't actually able to find this drink until 2022, and now you can pretty much find it everywhere. They really must have learned that people wanted these drinks. And my favorite of the low stim versions is that Mango Tango, an absolutely amazing flavor and with only 100 milligrams in a 16 ounce can it is a great low stim option and if you guys want to disqualify it because it's from 2021 and i switch it to the bucked up freedom low stim because that was released in 2022 and bucked up knows how to make some delicious drinks now coming at number five is another candy type flavor on the list and although lots of companies tried to make energy drinks taste like candy and some of them were trying to replicate skittles there was one company that actually collabed with skittles and that company is c4 with their c4 skittles this drink is like liquid skittles in a can and even though there were a few critics in my comments saying they didn't think it tasted exactly like skittles if you just scroll through youtube and do searches for reviews on skittles you'll see that most people do agree that they did a great job making it taste like a skittles flavor and when you think about it how is it supposed to taste exactly like skittles when it doesn't have any sugar well this sugar-free option for skittles is going to be the closest thing you can get to skittles without eating actual skittles it's got 200 milligrams of caffeine in the 16 ounce can and is skittles in a can and now coming at number four is is i thought we were done with this company a grand total of four four monsters on this list are you sure there's no more yeah 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 they're, they're sure there's no more I believe anything they tell me anymore but number four is going to be the monster ultra peachy keen this sugar-free energy drink has 150 milligrams of caffeine and is a great sweet peach energy drink that one with a much more natural peach flavor instead of the candied peach flavor that a lot of the peaches tend to go with and even though i have cases of so many other energy drinks at my house i do drink a lot of the monster ultra peach because it is so easy to find at each and every store when i am out and about and didn't take an energy drink with me it's my 
my number one, maybe my number two choice at most convenience stores that, that don't have a lot of selection. Can always find Monster. Coming in at number four. We have hit the top three, and this is where I ask you guys to leave me a comment down below if you think you can guess my top three in 2022. Now, I know for a fact if you've watched my channel much at all, you're going to be able to guess the number one. Some of you might even be able to guess two of them, but I highly doubt any of you are going to be able to get all three of them. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And the reason why it might be so tough is because the number three drink, much unlike the number four that I had a lot of, I've only drank it once. Once. Yet it still made the number three spot. How is that even possible? Well, it is possible because it's not actually in any stores near me and it's not even on Amazon. I tried finding it on Amazon and I think it's only on the West Coast because it is probably an AM PM exclusive, which makes it very hard to get my hands on and that flavor is the Rockstar Mango Guava. If you are a fan of the Rockstar TMGS, that's the Tangerine Mango Guava Strawberry flavor, and you wondered, what would the drink be like if they didn't put tangerine and strawberry in there? The answer would be absolutely amazing because the TMGS in their regular line, it's usually always on my top 20 and definitely on my top 10 lists because it was my favorite Rockstar Pure Zero flavor until they came up with this. Guys, tell me where I can find this because like I said, I couldn't find it on Amazon because if I can find a case of it, I will definitely be buying some cases of this drink. My number three flavor with 240 milligrams of caffeine in the 16 ounce can, gonna be giving you a burst of power as well as some burst bursting flavors in your mouth that are absolutely amazing. Now coming in at number two is one of the first, uh, maybe second, uh, third, uh, maybe fourth. Uh, you get the idea. It's one of the first. One of the first means it's not the first. It's, it's within a couple of the first. So I'm not saying it's the first because you guys in my comments, some of you can be like relentless. You say, oh, you said it was one of the first ones. It was like the third one. And I'm like, it was one of the first, which doesn't mean the first. At least that's my understanding of one of the one of makes it part of a group. So I'm just trying to nip this in the bud before I get to my comments. But it was one of the first drinks that was 140 milligrams compared to the 300 milligrams and a lot of their other flavors. And that drink is the G Fuel Miami Nights. As I said earlier, G Fuel releases a ton of flavors, so you're obviously gonna find something that you like. And not only was this flavor a great flavor, G Fuel has a lot of great flavors, but it was the 140 milligrams, which really, really helped my choice when I wanted to buy something for personal use. But once again, it's not about personal use. This chart is the top 20 based on flavor, a little bit of personal preference, but this drink is an amazing pineapple, coconut, strawberry energy drink without much of the strawberry. It says strawberry on the website. It doesn't say it on the can. Now they got a picture of a strawberry on but there's really not much strawberry in there. It's pineapple coconut with a splash of something else, but it's an amazing something else or amazing altogether. The fact that it's 140 milligrams just means I can drink it on more of a regular basis. And let's just put this out there. If they actually start switching over all their old drinks to the to, to, from 300 to 140, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do because because that's, that's a lot of money being spent be, because uh, when it comes to G Fuel, they rate really well, like a majority of the G fuels rate like in the high eights and nines. And if they start making some of those nines into 140, my God, they, they have like 40 flavors. I, I mean, that's just, that's just, that's just, that's, that's just a lot. But for now, the only G fuel I buy on a regular basis is the Miami Knights coming in at number two. And we have hit the number one spot. The glorified number one spot goes to an energy drink that scored a perfect 10 on the Caffeine Man rating chart. In my four years of doing YouTube, no other energy drink has ever scored a perfect 10. And it is the only one that's gotten a perfect score. Not sure if it'll ever happen again. But that flavor is the Ghost Sweetest Fish. It tastes exactly like Swedish Fish. They put the Swedish Fish logo on there because it was a collab with Swedish Fish and they did just that. They did an amazing job making this, melting down Swedish Fish into a liquid and pouring it right into the can. And it's not just me, tons of people agreed that it tasted just like Swedish Fish. So many people are amazed with how good of a job that they did with it. But I do have to say, there were a few skeptics and I understand that there are some trolls out there, but I'm not even 
even gonna call these people trolls because some of them were people that leave comments on a lot of my videos. And I just have to say, I understand that we all have different taste buds. I say that all the time. We all have different taste buds. Some drinks I like, you don't like. Some drinks I don't like, you do like. But some people were saying that all Ghost really did was take their Sour Patch Kids red berry flavor and take the sour off of it. That it was just a berry. And to all of you that said that, I just wanted to address this publicly and let you know how wrong all of you are. How can I be so firm in that statement? Since we all have different taste buds, you can't tell me what this tastes like is what they like to say. But out of all of the candy in the world, I've tried a lot of candy. And trust me, there's a lot of candy out there. I've eaten a bunch of it. And out of all the candy that I've ever eaten my entire life, Swedish Fish is my number one candy of choice. I have eaten a ton. Literally, I've probably eaten a ton of it. And there is no other candy that compares to it for me. When someone asks me my favorite movie, my favorite food, my favorite whatever, it's always a toss up between a couple of different things. But when it comes to candy, it's always Swedish Fish. Therefore, I know what Swedish Fish tastes like. And this drink is 100% Swedish Fish in a can. And anyone that says otherwise is just wrong. Two plus two equals four. No matter how much you want to say that it's five, and no matter how much it is your opinion that two plus two is five, you're, you're just blatantly wrong. And that's how it is with this drink. That being said, if you like Swedish Fish, you're definitely going to love this energy drink. And if you've never had Swedish Fish before, and you try this drink, you will know what the candy tastes like. And if you want to buy the candy. This is sugar-free, 200 milligrams of natural caffeine, and I've been holding it far too long. Bye. I Where am I? What, what was I doing? What, what? Top 20, top number one is Ghost, Swedish Fish. Excellent, amazing, perfect 10 on the Caffeine Man rating chart. Clearly, if you don't like Swedish fish, you may not like this drink, but I'm not sure how many people in the world don't like Swedish fish because it's so amazing. But go Swedish fish, number one. And you can find this drink and a lot of the other ones on this list at Campus Protein. Save 10% off your entire order at Campus Protein with coupon code CAFFEINEMAN10. Thank you so much for joining me today. Leave a comment down below what your top flavor of 2022 was. And until next time, well, well wait, hold on. <laughs> happy New Year to everybody. I wanna make sure I say Happy New Year's to everyone out there as we say goodbye to 2022. 2022. I know we all look forward to what 2023 has in store for us. And I'm talking energy drinks. I'm not talking about life. Who knows what 20? Who cares? It's all about energy drinks. But 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 that, that's just me. For you guys, I hope 2023 has a lot of great things in store for you. And stay tuned next week. I have a really, really big announcement about my channel coming up. I know you're all going to want to hear it. So until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night. Happy New Year. And if you've never had Swedish fish before, if you've never had Swedish fish, if you've never had Swedish fish before,